All right, man. All right, baby. Whiskey and kicks, man. It's your boy Brocky. Unboxing time, man. We are back in the building. My man Joe's good, baby. What's good, playboy? You know, um, chilling, man. Laying low. You? You know, I'm uh, I'm moving around, busy, zooming every day. Zoom. A lot of zoom these days. A lot of zoom in my life. We gotta come up with another word, man. I feel like I'm giving them free commercials all the time. I <laughs> you know what video saying? conferencing. <laughs> a lot of video conferencing going on. I'm averaging like three to four per per week. That's man. crazy, yo. A few times I was on two at the same time. Pause. Yeah, I hear you, man. Yeah, I, I do. Um, I, I zoom every week. Um, you know, because I'm putting these sipping with Brocky joints out and we yeah, zooming yeah, yeah. right now. So I'm just trying to do one every every Wednesday. I shoot every Wednesday. Yeah. So it's it's crazy. Yeah, man, I, I, I can dig it. It's, it's been some dope content you've been putting out. I appreciate that. it. Appreciate yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? My man, my man, Bill, told me flood the streets, baby. Uh, Just keep going. No matter how many views you get, click on the links and um, and man, and subscribe too. While we're talking in the beginning yeah. of the drink. Um, no matter how many views you get, just keep putting it out. Put out product. Keep putting out that product. Put out <laughs> it won't show up. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we got we got a couple painkillers here. All right, what we got here? Painkiller, pain man. Killer. It's a rum. We're doing rum today. Rum is the, the drink of the day. It's the drink of the day. You see, I got the Appleton situation going on, but we'll talk about that in the second part. Yeah. Um, but uh, a painkiller, man, it was a very, um, it's a tiki bar kind of cocktail okay uh, you know you know when we go to roy boys that drink i get that kind of looks like this yep, yep, it's yep. That's, that's frank mills variation of a painkiller okay. frank. frank shout out to frank man that's my yeah, guy yeah. right there so cheers man try that out you know what i mean that's pretty good it's pretty good right so it's like a it's a pineapple-ish pineapple something. in there coconut orange coconut. juice yeah 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 All and rum and a little rum up. And a, splat, and a, no, a little bit of nutmeg. Stuff off the top? Nutmeg. Oh, okay. So that's just there for... Uh, no, if you if you put if you put that down to your bottom. drink... Not even that. Even, you know, once you get over the how it looks, you know, the from an aesthetic presentation of okay. it, you put that nutmeg down in, into the cocktail, it makes a difference. Situation. Okay. And just, just for the record, I use 138 proof rum for this. So, <laughs> you know... <laughs> I use plantation overproof for this. You know what I mean? That's how I like to make it. So, it's not a joke. It's not a joke. <laughs> it's not a joke, baby. You <laughs> that think? I can attest to uh, <laughs> right now. However, you, it is delicious. It's delicious. If you feel your brow start beating up a little bit, man, just let me know so, so I don't get your water, y'all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I don't have any sneakers to, to unbox. You came over here with a bag of uh, I got, joints. I got three. You got three joints. Let's let's get them started, baby. Three. You know, let's uh, talk about. It. Let's get it started. We'll start with uh, we'll start with Ken, with Morgan's. Both uh, two of these are Morgan's. Okay. The first one though, Vans, is uh, something that Morg plays around. All the kids nowadays are, are rocking Vans. No doubt. Shout out to uh, a homie of mine from high school, Kia. She is the Van champ. Yo, I need to holler at her. You told me about her before. Yeah, man. I need she to was, get back in contact she, with her. She was going on a, going on a, uh, there was the, the month of Vans. She was doing. That's the one that, that was real active with my brand and stuff, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I ain't seen her in a while. Yeah, she, she started doing, uh, she, she had this thing. Vans, uh, the month of Vans, and she was rocking a different pair every day for 30 days. Because she can. Because she's got joints. Shout out to Kia, man. Shout out to Kia. Nonetheless, Kia, you're going to like these. These Billy pucksters, mm. Morg stumbled on. Mm. Okay. I see what I see what they're doing here. These thing. are crazy. Jesus Christ. There's some things happening here. Now, the backstory to these is we went shopping for sneakers the other day. Mm -hmm. Um... Because the other ones I purchased for her were her, um, we picked them up for just in case. She uh -huh. was trying to get the satin toe Jordans that just came out the yeah, other day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody went and crazy for those. She couldn't get them. Um, so then there were a couple other pair that she had her eye on. About a week and a half ago, I bought her some other joints um, just in case. And so we went to the mall real quick just to see if there's anything else she had her eye on before we returned these. Right. Um she saw these and she couldn't get herself together. <laughs> yeah. So every now and then you see something you can't move on in life you without them in your on. possession. It was hilarious, son. <laughs> anyone, in, anyone in the DC it blew area her away. Knows about PG Plaza. There are it's well, like Mall of Prince George's. Seventeen you know sneaker stores in the same 
plaza. I place. refuse to call that a mall. So it's what it's not even a curve in it. It's no, not like it's a mall where it's like going. It's ha ha. That's like being on a block with like six different gates on the same block, like and they all got <laughs> divided up. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it like six dope houses within two block. blocks? <laughs> That's how it is. Yeah, so we, this, <laughs> these were in the very first store that we walked into. So mm-hmm. the, uh, the remaining 16, <laughs> she couldn't get herself together. She was just like, I guess she had to go back. She had to go back. She she gotta like, go back. So, so let's talk about it. Out the gate, it's a, con- it's a construction vibe. Yep. Right? Yep. It, for, for me, I, it, it screams construction because the bright orange and the black and white checker. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's like uh, I don't even know why. That, uh, why does it say construction for me? I mean, because maybe the bulldozer is like that yellow orange color, and then you get all the warning signs and stuff when you're driving through an area like that. Mm-hmm. Off the wall, got this clear um, rubber. Yeah, so, like this yeah. clear rubber around the rubber. Around the rubber, right? It's crazy. Off the wall vans, off the wall written all over the joints. Writing is super popular on Snickers. Shout out to Virgil and Off White uh, for really starting that up. And actually, for the record, I didn't realize, but the the writing for Off White was actually the Vans off the wall writing all this time. Everyone they had their Vans, first, absolutely okay because Vans was a skateboard shoe, so Off the Wall was their whole skateboard thing right or whatever. Yeah, and but, it wasn't uh, until I saw it on here I was like, are they copying off of Virgil? Then I was like, well, no. Well, you know, as as Mob Deep said about gangster rap, Virgil revolutionized. He revolutionized. <laughs> revolutionized. You made a hot verse. I made a hot. Verse. <laughs> so, um, heavy. They are heavy. These are heavy shoes, yo. Yeah. You know what I mean? Got the gum. I, it's not really gum, but it is gum, but it's darker. It's a darker. Darker yeah. gum with the jagged situation on the bottom. Yeah. Um, and they slip on, so you know you're getting some some real comfort with these. The cushion yeah. inside is crazy. He's nuts. Morgan's gonna kill these. She's gonna go crazy with these. She's gonna kill these. She's very excited about them. Yeah. Very excited. You about know them. me. I'm like all black with these yeah. on the bottom. Forget yeah, about yeah, yeah. She's got, Forget she's about got it, options. Yo. She wanted something to go into the fall with. Yeah. So, uh, so these puppies are what she came up with, man. I think they were pretty dope. Oh, no. They're, they're the platform, so they're higher than they're a higher. normal van. Yep. Um, and I think that kind of. Added to her her, her uh, pleasure. That's giving you a half an inch in height right there. Easily. Easily. Easy. Which you know is funny because I mean? she put one on. She had her other sneakers on. So she kind of did the levitate the other foot thing. Right. Yeah. She was loving that. She was loving that. Yeah. Dope, that's, man. Yeah, those are clean. These are the first joints. I ain't mad at those. Those are clean. Yeah. Yeah, those are clean. She got to spray those up. Absolutely. She, yeah, she sprayed this those. That, this is that rubber that... Uh, you know, yeah, you get that nicked up. Yeah, it's yeah, take some elbow grease. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> this is the clear part. Yeah. I don't know what's gonna happen with that, but you know, the canvas. This is give you just to save yourself some work later on, man. Spray these joints up good, so stuff will just roll off of that canvas because yeah. that canvas will soak up everything. But you know, most of the vans are canvas, and most of these kids like them dirty for some reason. Oh, yeah, okay. It's well, concept, whatever. All it's right, a concept. I'm not. I'm not it's comfortable. Like, with. They don't spray them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Trying to help out. That's the first joint. I'm going to stay in uh, Morgan's Lane. Morgan's Lane. And these were the ones that I stumbled on. Okay. They're my personal favorite of the two. Um, Shout out to these metal straws, too. Holla at me. Metal straws are dope. Yeah. These are a pair of Jordan 1s. What's going on here? are simply... What I like to call. I'm already looking on my head like it's incredible. These are crazy. Dumb. The color on these. There's this is just retarded. That's not politically correct, but I'm not politically correct, so whatever. Um I mean it's a lot to wall here, to so. wall, same color. Boom. Bomb. Like um the emboss uh, swoosh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fire, the swoosh is so fire, me. It's like it's in, it's in like in, you know embossing whatever. Yeah. Instead of um, being stitched on, the actual, you know, what I'm saying the the it's underneath. It's underneath the rest yeah. of the the rest of the sneaker on the side and whatnot. Um, that's, that's crazy the way they did that. That's really dope. And that's so that's leather. 
I have no idea what this other material is. Probably some synthetic it's something. It's like a synthetic, uh, yeah. It's, like it's, a, it's something synthetic. Like a plastic, well, like a light plastic synthetic. It almost makes it makes you believe that it's see-through, but it isn't. Right, because it has this um, this sparkly effect yeah. or whatnot. It's, that makes you feel glitter. like if you hold it, like it's glitter, like it's going to come off in your hand, but it's not. Um, so the whole shoe glitters. The entire thing except... The, s- the swoosh, the swoosh, and a tongue, and the tongue, and the strings, right? And the tongue is all is the same leather that the that the Nike the, swoosh, the swoosh is, is, yeah, underneath. Uh, you know, it's just the um. So the this, I mean, it's just layered material. Yeah. Uh, so they so they didn't cut a swoosh and put it on a sneaker. Yeah. They cut the the design and laid it on top of the leather to make a swoosh, yeah. make it look like a swoosh. Um, fire. This is crazy. Yeah. These are these are nuts. How she like these? She loved them. Yeah, these are nuts, me. But she's like, she wanted to return them because she, and I, as again, so what happened was I was picking her up from hanging out in Georgetown. Uh-huh. And I ended up parking next to the Nike shop. I was like, let me go in here and see what's in here. Uh-huh. Walked in, saw these. I was like, Morgan, you got to you gotta see. FaceTimed her. She was like, yeah, let me get those. Boom. The reason why we had the conversation in the first place is because... Are you about to go into the story? I just want to tell you to tell the story, yo. Morgan called me out. What happened was... Uh, every... As as you've seen for the past... How long have we been doing these? At least two years now? We've been doing this for a minute, man. Yeah. Most of the, the girls get a lot of sneakers for report cards, yep. things like that. Morgan's going into the 11th grade. So, um, the end of the school year came. <clears throat> she was having a conversation with someone and I misinterpreted the answer to her to a question. <laughs> she was like, my dad be buying me stuff and most of the time I don't like it. She was talking about certain articles of clothing. Not, not sneakers. Not sneakers. So I, and ear hustling was like, well, ear hustling. I was like, well, I ain't buying nothing. <laughs> right? Until she tells me what she wants, I'm not going to buy anything on my own. Right? A couple months go by. We're now into July. Her ribs are touching. Her ribs is touching. She hasn't <laughs> gone anywhere, really, because of quarantine, so she wasn't paying attention and not mm-hmm. having joints. And then my joints start coming in that I that I picked up. And then, you know, she's like, wait a second. What's going on? This guy's out here eating on the street, and I'm not. We on the same block. <laughs> What's going on? So she says, in a conversation, she was like, yo, you know, I ain't really got any sneakers in a while. I'm like, well, this is what I said. She's like, hold on, hold on. Well, you had said. She's like, hold on. You know, normally I get one at the end of the school year. The end of the school year came and went, and I didn't get anything. I said, yeah, I understand that. She was like, you know. And then she hit me with the stats. She was like, you know I was the uh, vice president of the sophomore class. I said, yeah. She said, you know I was a cheerleader. You know I'm on student government. You know I'm on my, 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 my GPA game. Like, you know my GPA was a four point two with, and then hit me with the with three uh, honors classes and and three AP courses. She was like, and then the dagger was. <laughs> you know I just got a a three on my a three or four on my my um. The, the test that you have to take when you when you have an AP course. She was okay, like, yeah, AP. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, I just got a three on my AP oh, course, which means... I'm killing it out here. I get that credit for college. Right. <laughs> she came with a... You ain't give me no joints, though. What's, 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 what's your explanation for this? What's that? So, that came about the sneaker shop. What is this all about? To right the wrong. These appeared and then subsequently the vans. No doubt. Yeah. These is nuts. They're incredible. Yeah, those are so dope. <laughs> that green. I'm supposed is, to take these back. It's like back. alien. Oh, so she's still. Why does she want him to take you to take them back Originally, again? Originally, she wanted to. She wanted to get. She wanted to keep the van. She she thinks she won't be able to keep. Them oh, both. oh, so you gonna let her keep both of them? Van. I think I'm gonna let her keep both because these are too dope to put back on the shelf. Yeah, there's there's um taking these back kind of goes against your moral code when it comes to sneakers. It does, and that works against you. It does. Because these are not for you. They're not. <laughs> for your child. They're but, you know, it's all good. The dress is crazy, so you can't take, you can't take those back. Look at these. It's the nuts. These are crazy. And she like, but she liked them vans. She, she loved those vans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
You gotta keep both of them joints. Toffee zone with with a gray sweatsuit. You know what I mean? Forget about it. You're walking right into it. Mm mm mm. Tough joints, man. Those are dope. Yeah, those are clean. Morgan came up. Morgan came up over the last couple of weeks because she, she called me out, man. Good old PG Plaza. Good old. Um, let's go ahead and cut real quick. Yeah. We'll come back and um, we'll talk about, well, we got another a little surprise. We got a little something that we're going to throw out there and you got another pair. Yeah. And then we'll uh, get into less rap about it after yeah, that. let's do it. Bye. Bye. All right, man. We back, baby. Yeah, yeah, we are yeah. back. Um, so... You know, we have a history of stunting on each other, right? This is, this, you know, this, the dopeness, like, you find the dopest thing that your friends don't have or the, they're not doing and just, just drop it on their heads when you have the right opportunity. Yeah. You keep it secret as long as you possibly can. Or even if you tell them, most times we end up forgetting about it. Mm-hmm. And then it's like, yo, check the, you know, as, as, Ghost, as Ghost would say, check, check the fly the shit. So, I did that to Joe today. I got, um, I got these these Ray Bans, right? These shades and these sunglasses, as, as they call them. And I ordered these joints June fourth, right? And I saw them online. I said, "There's no way I can't have these." Right? So, I ordered them June fourth, and. My, I wasn't even employed at that time. Right, right. right. Yeah. Y'all, don't, y'all don't really realize that the, the level of unemployment that I have for a while. I'm back in the game now. But I was copping these shades. They had to be copped. They had to be copped. And um, due to COVID, I ran into this problem after problem. Like, you know, they showing that they shipped. They actually didn't. I hit them up. Oh, they're going to be shipped. You'll get a notification when they're shipped. I'll give y'all another week or so. I'll hit them back. Yo, if I'm tracing shit. Oh, your order got lost. It took, it was like uh, maybe a couple weeks ago or so, something like that, when I finally got the joints in the mail. Mm-hmm. I was determined, because they're like, well, do you, your order is lost. Do you want us to still still send them or just uh, get a refund? Send these shades. Send these shades. And at this okay. point, it's principle, right? It's like, right. look, I done been through all this this whole time. Send my joints. So these are the, um, these are the <laughs> Ray-Ban Honey Dijon by uh, Ray-Ban Studios. Uh, I'll let you go ahead and take those out there, buddy. Because these shades, these sunglasses, the, it was Joe's idea to unbox these right now. It was. And these shades, they're a bit of nostalgia for us because they take us back to the Kazell days. But they even go back even further to like the 70s. They're 70s inspired. But they also take us to a time. <laughs> So let's discuss these, man. Because these things are crazy. It's crazy, B. So you got the Honey Dijon. First and foremost, we've been on a whole lot of Ray and Ghost stuff for the last couple of days. Heavy. Due to the 25th anniversary of Only Only Built. Built. So the fact that these were named Honey Dijon (laughs) (laughs) to describe a rose... Colored lens glass is nuts. It's crazy. These things are dope, B. So, they do something that's really even doper. Mm. They are tortoise shell yep. around the whole sunglass, mm-hmm. the whole pair of glasses are tortoise shell. However, the outside of them, the part that is out here, mm-hmm. has a red tint. Yeah. While the inside portion still has the, the regular color. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good catch. I didn't even see that. <laughs> they're, they're, they're crazy, son. And then they, they got, then they got the rose colored lenses which take us to a moment in crew history. Um, Vegas. Vegas and then a few Miami trips. That were anchored by a rose-colored glass. So it happened to be Ray Bans. So it happened to be Ray Bans. Uh, aviator style. I don't even know where those are. I tried to. I'm like, I don't even know what happened to those. All I will say is this: the original rose gold glass had this guy wearing a shirt 
<laughs> with only the bottom two buttons. <laughs> so now it's out of there, me. You oh, man. What I'm saying, this guy was like a 1983 drug dealer in Miami. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> in the club. In the club. <laughs> in the club. We lost him Don't get him twisted. <laughs> um, regardless of my, my friends, it doesn't even, it didn't even make a difference. Like, as soon as we went in, they're like, yo, let's go get a drink and chill up and post. I was lost. like, I dove into the crowd. Lost. I, I lost, the first night I lost, um, what was it? Um, Mosley Tribes. I had a pair of Mosley Tribes. I lost those within three minutes of hitting the crowd in that club. Foam dropping from the ceiling. It was incredible. We were, I was back by the bar. Like, where is this guy? <laughs> <laughs> Someone has to find it. He's J. Cole performed, cool. Fab performed, somebody else performed. It was somebody it was performing great. every night. It was a great week. Ask me how J. Cole's or Fab's live performances are. He I have no, no clue. <laughs> I have no clue. <laughs> so yeah, we back with the rose, man. Yeah, man. These these things are these things are something special. You know what I mean? Let me see those real quick, son. Go ahead, man. This is what this is what we're doing right now, right? It changes everything. Everything looks differently with the these. The concept up. of looking through rose-colored glasses. It's real. It's real. Yeah, this is this is a great segment. Let's go get them other sneakers up here, son. Come on, get out of here. My, my whole attitude is gonna change well, now. Let's stay in that vein. I'm gonna, you know, back these in. These. <laughs> yeah, this is a we got a we got a situation right here. These are a uh, custom Nike by you. Air Max One that I created for Father's Day. Mm. Um, I've been sitting on them. They came about two or three weeks. If you all don't know, to keep true to the brand, I don't wear my sneakers until after they are unboxed. <laughs> gotta unbox them first, yeah, yo. Gotta unbox them first. That's just where we are. Gotta we're unbox just, them first. With this far into it, luckily I have more than enough. So, the reason why I'm, I'm, I'm Keeping this side is because it shows the sneaker and all the oh, other yeah, stuff yeah, yeah. over there. Even though to the last second, I don't want it ruined. I'm going to let you bring those out. Okay, let me pull these out, pause. Uh, I'm not even going to take a look at that right here. Okay, okay, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> here we go. Of course, look at those ice bottoms. All right. All right. All right. What's this? The, um... Uh, this, uh, the one, right? Yep, Air Max, Air Max one. one. Woo! Very nice, B. This is like a um. Man, these are clean, son. Yeah. Very nice. So this is like a, a lavender. I have like a rose. A pinkish. You got you've got the rose gold on. That's why they're perfect for I got the rose on. Yeah. So they're pink. Are those pink? Yeah. You got a well, pink bracelet on. That's true. Does look a little, yeah. With the red, that is a nice combination with the, you. And you had control over the, the blue, yep. right? Very nice, huh? Blue in there. And you had control over the bottoms too. Absolutely. Ice bottoms. Put ice bottom on that. I, I just gotta, make, I gotta verify that these are your choices. You know what I mean? Every choice is my choice. Sir. Every choice is your choice. Uh, okay, so what, what is this? Including the name. Pink lady. The pink ladies. The pink ladies. The pink ladies. Those are dope, B. Mm. And so you did these through the Nike by you yep. program and whatnot. You can yeah, go on yeah. and design. Just, just go on, yeah, on Nike.com. You can design your own joints. The Nike IDs. Uh -huh. now they, it used to be Nike, Nike ID. Now yeah. they're called Nike by you. And, and the inside, um, you got control over that too. Yeah, I left that red. Uh -huh. I played around with it being blue in there. But then I don't want the blue to overpower because I didn't no, want to be No, one little to blue three. splash is perfectly was, fine. Yeah. That's perfect. You know what I yeah. mean? Um, these joints are crazy, son. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, you know, it saddens me. Um, so, and you can, and you have control over boom, boom. Yeah. Change those. Mm -hmm. Great, great splash of the red on those. Yeah. Yeah, you, you killed these. From a design perspective. Um, so, and, and this is different than this. This and yeah. this are different than this part. Yeah. Right? Mm hmm But that now that part wasn't really my doing. Um this And the tongue is the same as the front. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, these are these are dope. And you have control over the inside. The purple inside. The, yeah. the, the pink, pink or whatever. On the inside. Mm-hmm. Pink red. I wanted something I've I've been I've been playing around with some pink and red joints for a while. Or or pink sneakers, period. Nike actually came out with some white and pink Air Force Ones. They sold out like that, which is another topic we could either choose or not to discuss. Um but so I was like, you know what? Let me play around with some drinks to see what I can come up with. Uh huh. As much as I like sneakers, I'm normally not very good at designing. I suck. I suck. I suck at it. Yeah. And so I can see other people in the, you know, with their own Nike IDs. And I'm like, oh man, those are dope colorway. And then when I go in there, I'm like, ah, I don't really like it. Right. You know, so, so yeah. You crushed these though. Um, did you Big get uh, another pair of laces or no? No, these were the only ones. However, I'm going to go out and get some new laces. I'm going to get some um, some custom joints. And you can get different laces with a different... I forget what these things are called, man. The I, little tips. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I'm about to so I'm going to get, get some with the, um, one set with a red tip and the other one with a pink tip. Dope. Um, you know, the thing about these is that it almost makes me sad because we were so robbed of our summer. Now we've been we've been doing you know mm-hmm. a couple of sit down and you know with the fellas and get a grub and all yeah. that kind of stuff or whatever. So we've been trying to make the most of it, but it's not the same, it's man. Not the same, man. It's not the same. It's not the same. Son. You don't really have any place to wear them. Which a person could say, well, then why buy? Well, because <laughs> this is what we do. This is what I do. This is Plus, this is what we do. I go to brunch or breakfast every Sunday. I'm getting dressed. Yeah, <laughs> you're gonna throw these. You're gonna throw these on. So so Absolutely. you got a polo already. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you know you got a polo to match. I do, which is which is pretty much why the the blue eyelet is there, because the pink polo I have has a blue, has a blue, uh, horse. blue horse. Perfect, and a, right. and the pink matches that perfectly. Absolutely. Boom. Yeah, these are these are tough, son. You did a great job with these, man. Um, like you said about yourself, I suck when it comes to the designer sneakers, but you know I'm gonna give it a shot. You know what I'm saying? I might be able to come up with something. Yeah. The ice bottoms I love. Ice bottoms are only second to gum soles for me. Yeah. I love a, an ice bottom on a sneaker. So that's a great touch because it plays off of the blue a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, and just add that much more contrast so the red shows up even bit, even more yeah. with the ice. Because you could have made that red too, huh? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Dope, son. Dope. Yeah, you sitting on you sitting on some joints right there. Mm-hmm. Uh, those are heavy, that, and those are one of ones. Yeah, that's the beauty of it. You know what I mean? What other sneakers can you design on there? They got a bunch. Um, I think so. So I know you could do obviously Air Force Ones. You mm-hmm. can do Air Maxes. Um, I think you can you can do the ninety sevens, which is the drinks I got on. Yeah, you can do. Um, I think you can. Yeah. So anyway, you know, batteries running out, stuff like that. I see. There gotta be something every time. Um, yeah, but I was just about to say it's not a commercial for Nike or nothing like that. But, yes. <laughs> but it is what it is. Yeah. So, yeah, you can go out there and design your joints. Like, I don't see why other other brands don't do that like that. For and real, even for though real. I have all of the clear boxes for my sneakers, I got to keep the, this box. You have to. Because it does the whole Nike by uh, Joseph. Yeah. 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 So you you got to keep that. You got you to gotta keep that. Yeah. You just yeah. stack that on top of the drinks or whatever. You're good That'd to be go. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, I know you ready. Those, uh, those are making brunch next next Sunday. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, that sir. might be us next Sunday. We might go out. You know what I'm saying? We, might, we gotta get our we gotta get our situation popping. Yeah, or maybe next Saturday or something. Yeah. Ain't trying to take away from the tip. Yeah, um, man. we gonna um come back and rap about it and All sip right. some um, you know, talk about some rum too. Absolutely. You know, you got like almost a damn near full drink over there. What's See that? over there. Uh, uh, Nursing that, you know what I'm saying? The drink might fall asleep. Yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, um, yeah, let me go ahead and pause this real quick and then um I'll go get the, the Appleton ready and uh we'll go we'll go ahead and sit that and talk Absolutely. about it a little Absolutely. bit. Absolutely. All right? Yeah. Boom. All right, man. All right, we back, baby. Um you know what I'm saying? We we all over the place right now. Yeah, yeah, you move that over there. And uh so I've been I've been very fortunate 
laying your foundation right there. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, this is this is this is this is light though. This is where we at. Um, anyway, um, I've been very fortunate lately of uh, to um, have received a few bottles of booze in the mail from some company that recognize what I'm doing, and I really, really appreciate it. Yeah. Um, this particular bottle, this Appleton Estate, um, as you can see, the Appleton fisherman's hat that I got with it. I'm very happy about it because I love fisherman hats. Even though I haven't rocked them in a long time. It's been yeah. years, but I think this might be this might be igniting something yeah. right now yeah. because this is my thing. Um yeah, yeah. We're not gonna go there. Relax. Relax. <laughs> yeah. We yeah. Actually cut the hair <laughs> yeah. It's been some 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 times, man. Sometimes let's just say whiskey and kicks makes all the sense in the world. Yeah. Especially me doing whiskey kiss with a fisherman hat on. <laughs> yeah. This makes all the sense. So, um, so I get this in the mail and it came from your cousin, yep. Curtis. Shout out to Curtis. Shout out to Curtis. KP. KP um and Team Epiphany. Yep. Which is the company that he works for. What what do they do exactly? So they basically um they work with brands um for advertising to the quote unquote and I don't think they say it. I'm pretty sure they don't say it, but to the urban market. So, for instance, they um, they'll work with liquor brands, they'll work with car brands, they'll work with. Um, they did all of the rollout for um, Issa Rae for you know television shows. Mm -hmm. um, it's owned by a gentleman uh, Curtis Coltrane, who used to be an MTV VJ. Um, yeah, that sounds so, crazy familiar. So what he did was he leveraged his position in the uh, in the market of hip hop and music, and being a black man who graduated from Morehouse is an incredible story. Um, he then started the, the the company he and his wife, and um, they do some incredibly dope events. Yeah, like it's not even a game the stuff they put on in terms of advertising of the business the or brand. And merging and bringing, um, you know, Word. a different market, the uh, the black market, and not so much black because I won't say that, but urban the urban market to um, show its worth to these companies. So dope. they do they do some dope stuff, man. My cousin has been with them for a very long time. Long time now, man. He usually goes out and puts the stuff together when they do stuff at Sundance and, and all of that. And so uh, so he he watches us a lot, you know. <clears throat> Um, you've heard me talk about him in the earlier episode. He was the one I called when I uh, needed someone to run down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember that. Ones from yep. Um, he shot down there for me and, and picked them up. So shout out to Kurt, man. I, I appreciate it. He sent me one too. I got one at the crib with the bucket and all of that, man. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. So um, this is Appleton Estate um, Reserve, and it has an eight on the front. Now it has an eight on the front, but Typically, when you dealing with a whiskey, you see eight year, like it's an eight year whiskey. Mm -hmm. But rum is a little different. Okay. Right, so rum doesn't necessarily mean that this whiskey, this uh, rum has been aged for eight years. Uh -huh. But let me just give you this uh, specific situation. Crafted to commemorate our 250th anniversary, this rum blend includes select reserve pot still stock from our renowned aged inventory aged a minimum of eight years so with this one all right the youngest rum in here has to be at least eight years old okay and then you have they probably blended it with a couple other ones maybe 12 10 who knows and whatnot and and to make this you know boom yeah. so it's not necessarily this is an eight-year-old um rum it's just uh the youngest one the minimum one in here is eight years old jamaican rum if you haven't had Appleton before, you should go try it. Yeah. Um, my Appleton 21 is my favorite. I'm going to give you a little something right here. That's cool. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work for you. Uh, rum is different than whiskey when it comes to smelling. I don't I don't let that, that drop. I never let it waste. I never, ever let that waste. <laughs> Boom. I would do that on the camera for the rest of my days doing this show. But um, it... um. You're not supposed to do the whole 
right, right. right. The, yeah, you remember when I, I was talking about that right, before yeah. because you're just gonna get a bunch of a bunch of um, uh, alcohol, yeah. uh, ethanol. So, so we're gonna go in and uh, we're gonna taste this this rum and see what it's all about, man. This is my first time ever having this, so I'm excited about it. Am I supposed to shake it up? Like that? Yeah, yeah, it's cool, man. You know that doesn't that doesn't hurt. Doesn't do anything. It doesn't, to it? it doesn't hurt. Maybe you get some of the alcohol off the top of that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? We should have poured it a little bit earlier and let it chill for a little bit, but it's cool. nice man that's nice um 86 proof oh okay yeah yeah 86 proof i guess when you start drinking 130 something proof yeah yeah it's like that's pleasant that's, nice. <laughs> <laughs> that's pleasant yeah there is still a nice coating that is left pause yeah super pause <laughs> it is a nice coating that is left. Like my yes, tongue, it is. I, you know, my tongue still feels like a honeyish or something. Yep, yep, yep. The, the, the honey, nice. the honey is strong in yeah. this. The honey is super strong in this yeah. rum. Um, I mean, it's it's very nice, man. This this it's is this is a. This is a very nice rum. Man. I like this a lot. I'm not even going to front. Yeah, this is good. I could sit here and just sip this all day. No lie, yo. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful job, Appleton Estate. Um, is, is Some people might know. Some people don't know. I'm a rum lover. Yes. And this makes me happy. <laughs> this is really good. Yo, I can't yeah, front. It's, tough, man. It's, mm-hmm. it's really 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 smooth really smooth and and i hate using that word but it's true but it's true it's, absolutely it's very true tr- it's very true man this is um i can even sip this on a sunny day in the heat i could i could do that um i might throw a cube in it just for the just to chill it a little bit or whatever but this is really nice yeah so um we're gonna rap about it let's do it um my topic let me see Oh, so my topic is stemmed from the last versus battle. Okay. Who's in the conversation when it comes to top five or maybe top ten catalogs in hip hop? Okay. Now let's define a catalog, let's right? Define a catalog. We're okay. talking about albums. Albums. The the top criteria for catalogs. Has it's to be albums. albums because you have to be able to go and find it. There, yes, right. You this this person is producing a product and that product is an album. Okay. And then secondary, I would say is like features. Okay. I don't care about mixtape freestyles and all that kind of stuff. Ask, but but where does that should that be a part of the conversation when it comes to cataloging for an artist? I don't think so. If an artist came up in the 90s and when mixtapes were a thing. Mm-hmm. Not everybody's a mixtape artist. Okay. All right. So every artist, every rapper okay. is required to put out an, an album. album. All right. So that album is your product. Who's in the conversation? I'm not saying who has the top or whatever. Who's in the conversation is the top five to ten catalogs in hip hop greatest history in hip hop history yes right off the bat without even getting into the conversation because mm-hmm. I'm going to think as we're talking the first name is LL for me ooh okay LL catalog LL has albums. a catalog he has at least 10 albums but how good are they the latter <laughs> How good are they? However, cuz that's part of the criteria, right? Right. Right. But I think it's important to note that no one is going to if if a person gives you 10 albums, there're very few if any people who have 10 great albums. I I, I hear I hear you with that. So it's not necessarily there's, there's going to be some miscues. LL probably should have stopped rapping a little bit later down the road in terms of albums. Shout out to LL. But LL is, but his earlier body of work was so incredible that he almost gave himself a cushion 
for some ladder work. But okay, this is. It. I'm glad you brought him up first because are we really running around talking about how great LL's albums were? What is it? Bigger, blacker, deeper? Is that that's the name? Um, that, that was the first one. You got the no. Nah, the first one was uh, like radio. Radio. What was radio. it? Album called Radio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got radio. You got the the. I think it was bigger and deeper or something yeah, like bigger that. Bigger and deeper. Uh, why? Do, yeah. I had this up here for for a reason, right? Um, and why are you looking? Bigger and deeper. Uh, then you have um, the Mama Said Knock You Out album. So, yeah, radio, and then bigger and deafer. Yeah. Right? Hold on. Let me see. And then uh, walking like a panther. Walk, I was about to say, the one with the black panther one, I wasn't sure which order that came in. Radio, bigger and deafer, uh, walking like a panther, mama said knock you out. Yeah. That's where we kind so of... that's the, that's the that's first That's kind of the apex, oh, right? Because right, right. then after that, you got 14 shots of the dome. And that's where LL kind of tried to start Tailoring his style to keep up with yeah. the stuff that was out, but we don't want to spend too much time on one artist we're not, we're not. and whatnot. So I, it's I'm arguable, saying, though. I don't know if I necessarily agree with that, it, but I can, I can feel, you, I, I feel you on that. Um, catalog wise, so I think what's also important to note is the amount in the catalog doesn't really matter, right? So, like I gave LL an example because he has ten, he has ten albums. Tribe doesn't have ten albums. Tribe's catalog is incredible. Tribe's catalog. Their first three are classics. Hands, it's, it's not even up for <laughs> it's not debate. even disputable. It's not even absolute classics, B. So Tribe, so they they're in the conversation. They're in the conversation. Jay, forget about it. Forget about it. You gotta say Eminem. Albums. Hey, so what is our criteria? Let's let's. Because we're going, happened. we're going based off of our opinions, our own opinion on on artists' album work. I will say that you will find a large portion of society, hip hop wise, who would place Eminem in the conversation with albums. Classic. You've got Snoop, which we just saw. S- Catalog wise, Snoop. Catalog-wise, you got Snoop. No? No. You don't think I'm so? not putting Snoop in the conversation at all. His first album was a classic. Yes. After that, he just he singled us to death. The first album, then... Doggy was, Style. Doggy Style. Then the one after that was... Unless there were a lot of stuff on Doggy Style that... Yeah, I don't... So, so, do- doggy style. Then you got the dog father came after that. <laughs> we don't even know a song off of that, even though we rock with some of it. I know there's stuff on it that there's we like. Joints on there. There's joints on there. But yeah. from an album, then the game is to be sold, not not to be told. No limit, top dog. That's when he was over at No Limit and all right. that. That, I mean. So those albums. So what you're saying is those albums. You trash. Are tra- I love Snoop, but let's, let's be clear. We're not going off of what everyone else thinks. We're going off of okay. what we think, son. So let, let me back up there. Like, <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me wheel myself up. Pull up, man. Pull let up. Pull up, and I'm going to go with just Joe's opinion. I'm not. Yeah. I'll, I'll save the discussion for the comments. After <laughs> yeah, because yeah, we can right. even argue that. You and I can argue that. You right. know what I'm saying? Okay. So, so Joe... Would say I'm, gonna, I'm still going to stick with LL. He'll be politically correct on my show. Not, Come I'm, on, I'm, man! Because we've taken some backlash. <laughs> <laughs> but not this cancel culture, including other areas, and I'm I'm only going from the. the I don't want to get canceled, people. man. Don't cancel me, y'all. Don't cancel me. Right. Just starting off. So basically, f y'all opinion. This is just Joe's opinion, right? right? For you to to combat, I'm going LL. I'm okay. sticking with Tribe. De- tribe definitely. Stay with tribe. Hove, Hove, Nas, Nas. Yeah, um, Nas, Nas definitely. His catalog fabulous. is crazy. Fab, fabulous. Ooh, somebody fabulous. brought him up the other day too. And I'll tell you why. Simply based off of the um, what are the joints? Um, so Loso's way. 
Yeah, Los right. Sosway is crazy. Cause, Ghetto cause, Fabulous is the first album. What I, what I feel is important, I'm not even looking over there. What I feel <laughs> is important when you do these is to be able to talk to it. Like, if I got to look them up. No, I'm with you, son. Right. Because so, Los Sosway, the Young OG Project, Young OG was Summertime tough. Shootout 3 was an actual album release. Yep. You know what I mean? Um, and the reason why I brought up mixtapes is because of Fab in this. I know. So... Right? Soul so tapes. The, the soul tapes, B. The soul tapes were incredible. You, you know what? Incredible. Those are, those are albums. Those are albums. So they didn't go through major label release, but those are not typical mixtape format. They're not. Those are not mixtapes. Those yeah. are albums. Okay. So I can, I, can, I can rock with that. We have to give him a pass for that. You got to. We have to. Yeah. Um, Rick Ross. Rick Ross. Rick Ross. Rick Ross, B. I mean, Rick Ross said, he was like, look, I got, after the battle with 2 chains, he said, I got 20 more joints for anybody else who wants smoke. Rick Ross, watching, watching that battle, which I did, Rick Ross didn't play 10 songs <laughs> that, that you that loved. I <laughs> right. And expected him to play. There were songs that Rick Ross played that I never even heard of. Straight up. Yep. Straight up. I, I'm, I agree. Or just didn't remember him from albums. So that means he didn't even play, not to get in the weeds, Rick Ross. L, Tribe, Nas, Hov, Ross. Who else did we say? We didn't. Um, push. Push a T? <laughs> Listen. Push? Listen. Push is my guy. Push, push. Fear of God. My name is my name. Yup. I, I, I got him the la- Yeah, push. Push. And, and the clip stuff. And the clip stuff. You know what I mean? Like, it's not getting twisted. That's, two, that's had, push. I mean, you got the very first one, which didn't get much clip. But yeah. then you got after that. Mm-hmm. Um, where do we put Mob Deep? Catalog-wise, they had probably, what, Infamous, four joints? Hell on Earth. But the first two of those four joints, the first three of those four joints were classics. Whoo, man. Mob got joints. Mob got joints. Um, Forget about Juvenile Hell. The Infamous, Hell on Earth, Murder Music. Murder Music, yeah. That's what I said, the first three. Infamy, America's Nightmares. Like, America's Nightmares got joints. And um, Mob Deep. They came out with an album called Mob Deep. Yep. That is not on streaming platforms that is incredible. It was like, is their last album together? Yeah. And it's not, it's not out there. A green cover? I can't remember. I think so. Um, Mob Deep, I, I ain't mad at that. Some Mom people might it. argue, you know, but you know, let's talk about it. I'm a northerner. Um, That's what you're going to get from me. Hmm, who else? Who else is in that conversation, man? Does T.I. have albums? Does his catalog? T.I.? Yeah. Jeezy? Jeezy got a catalog. T.I. and Jeezy have, T.I. has a very, T.I. put out a lot of projects, man. He put out a lot of full-length albums. That's true. He also has a rack of singles, but a lot of those singles came on, came with actual albums. It's part of his catalog. Yeah. T.I. Hmm. T.I. So. How about Lil Wayne? And I'm not saying I'm I'm saying him, but what do you think about Lil Wayne? I was going to bring him up, and I'll tell you why. The Carter series. Right. You can't dispute it. You can't dispute it. Yeah. How many of those you got? The so I think I think it's up to like four. Four or something like that, that right? Yeah. But Carter one and I know the Carter two was crazy, but the Carter three is the one that skyrocketed. Him right. The, yeah. Yo, that's crazy. Yeah. You gotta factor those in. You got to. You got to factor Wayne in. Somebody said Dr. Dre. I said, nah, Dre's a producer. Drake. Uh, Kanye. Drake and Kanye. Drake and Kanye. Kanye's catalog is bananas. Drake's catalog is bananas. Album-wise, Kanye has a lot of albums. He's he's been killing it. Yeah. Drake is uh, not even a topic of discussion. You're you're not going to be on, on, you're not necessarily not going to be on board with this. But you don't have as much input to this. But MF Doom catalog, okay. Forget about it. Like there's not too many people that's gonna beat him. MF Doom, okay. Catalog crazy. 
MF Doom has also been making music for a very long time. Yes, he has. And he's been he has been making albums because he never really subscribed to the mixtape world. No, no. He went straight from KMD, hiatus once his brother died. Yep. And then he came out as MF Doom with the mask. And he has been putting out projects. Project, project, project. Doom, 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 doom. So here's one that might be a little controversial. Alright. West Side Gun. <laughs> yeah. Well West Side Gun. So <sighs> he has put out a lot in a very short amount of time. Since we are discussing quality music. Since we are discussing projects and we've we've taken because West Side Gun, the whole Griselda, they have taken the mixtape thing back. But their stuff is all it's albums. They're, yeah. They're, they're Those eight, are projects. Seven, eight song albums. Or more since a lot of times. Yeah. It's West nothing, Side. Nothing controversial. He got. With me, man. He got. He got. Fly no, guy. No, I'm saying. I'm saying I agree. Oh yeah, yeah, no doubt. No, no, no yeah, yeah. With me. I mean, you know, just to talk about it though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, so he's got three. He's got at least three Fly Gods, right? Because he just dropped the. No, third no, no. One. He got one. He got. He only got one Fly God album. But I'm saying in terms of. Well, I'm saying that in the name. So there's oh. the original Fly God. There's Fly God something. Um, that he just put Fly out. God is an awesome God? Oh, no, there's God and there's Fly God, Praise Bold. That's the two. But the Fly God album stands yeah. on its, its, stands its on own. Its own. Um, Pray for Paris is Pray one of the Paris. Supreme Blind Tell. Supreme Blind Tell. <laughs> I is mean, the one that really son, put me on. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, Hitler wears Hermes, all them joints. Hitler wears Hermes. Joints after I, joints I after joints. Yeah. Like, Westside got a crazy catalog, man. So I'm going to ask you this. Hmm. I'm going to ask you here, and I'm going to ask Dex out there. Dex, what up, son? What's, um, jeez, I just forgot his name. Um, Conway? No, 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 no. Uh, uh, that was with Buster and um, I, I really just jumped on Oh, board. oh, oh, uh, oh, um, um. Rock Mars. Rock Mars. Rock Mars catalog. Rock Mars. Come on, man. <laughs> Currency. Currency. Speaking of Dex. That's why I brought it. I was bringing those two up strictly for you, Dex. Yeah. Because I'm saving you the keystrokes that you're going to type in the... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Do it anyway, son. I need those comments, B. Do it anyway. Like um, Currency and... Rock, Rock Mars. Mars. There's no way Dex is entering this conversation without that. Period. Period. And me. And I you, mean, you know, I yeah. love these dudes. Like, yeah. uh, Currency's catalog is incredible. Joint after joint. Currency was my frame of reference for rappers for a very long time. And why are you not putting out <laughs> this is your This is your job. This is your job. <laughs> this guy went to the mall, came home, and was inspired and made an album about the sneakers he bought. Song about walking from his car to the mall, with the sneakers in back. He'll buy a, a '77 Chevy and make an entire album about it. Boom! In a night, in and his I'm, quality. And I'm saying this as an individual who wasn't, who isn't really a currency fan. Like I don't listen to currency that. No, nope. I'm a currency junkie, and, but and my man you can't Jack. deny that. He, his following is incredible. This this next this last person we're gonna we gotta get out of this topic. Let's go. Future. Absolutely. Future's catalog is crazy. Absolutely. And while I'm talking about future, I think we probably should put Outcast in there. I was gonna bring up Outcast. And the reason why I was gonna bring them up um, is because their catalog isn't as extensive as we believe. They but they've got three Southern Playalistic, uh-huh. Women Eye, and um, what's the the two box set joint they did? Mm-hmm. Love Below. Love Below. And all that. Stankonia. 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 Yep. Yeah. So yep. that's four. Women Eye, Speaker Box, Love Below, uh, AT Aliens. AT Aliens. Southern that's Playalistic. That's, that's five joints off top. Forget what I was even about to say. <laughs> that's five joints off top. Out that's there. all strong joints. 
Some and then people, the Idlewild, the Idlewild um, soundtrack went crazy for them. Yeah, but some people, especially if you're a Southerner, and Lord forbid if you're from Atlanta, would argue and say that those were five classic albums. They were. And, and, you and got, I wouldn't we, argue against them. Yeah, you can't sit here and argue with them, man, nope. because, you know, those mean, I mean, it's all subjective at the end of the day, right? So, for my Southerners, I will add in a few individuals, because it's important. Eight Ball and MJG, their catalog is extensive. I haven't listened to it. They have an extensive catalog, but I know they've been around for a very long time. Right. UGK. Now, UGK, and that's Bun B by himself, and UGK Scarface catalog. I thought about Scarface earlier, but uh, album wise, I don't mean. I mean, I know he whole weight out here, Mm -hmm. and I love Scarface. Mm And I mean, like we said, album wise and features, based off of features alone, Scarface probably is in the conversation. He's in the you know what? He's in the conversation, He's period. In the conversation. He's in the conversation. conversation. This is just about who's in the conversation. He Scarface is in the conversation. Scarface. We gotta wrap this up. The roots. Oh my god. My apologies. Rest in peace. How did I not start with that? Rest in peace, Malik B. The roots. How the, did I not start? The catalog is out of here, son. About three months ago, I listened to the entire catalog. Yep. I literally spent two days while working, starting from the very first album to their their last their last album. And I listened to every single song, and in the next two days, I did the uh, uh, Mustang album, the um, catalog, the uh, uh, Tribe. So, oh yeah, yeah, that's that's a, that's a good move. Yeah. So. And 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 so I keep saying let's wrap this up, right? Yeah. But we have to say Wu Tang as a collective, group wise and individual albums. So <laughs> Wu Tang as a as a collective. Wu Tang as a co- forget Wu-Tang about it. Wu Tang as a collective is almost unfair. It is, but it's it is what unfair. it is. Okay. Ghost. Meth had two albums. He had more than that, but yeah, he had two albums that makes that <laughs> that's worth the, <laughs> discussing. Right. Shout out to Meth, man. Love Meth. I've been listening to Sandman on repeat. Meth had two albums. Ray and Ghost are Ray and Ghost. Yeah. Right. Like so, we can pull them out of there and have Ray's catalog and Ghost catalog in the conversation by itself. Yeah, you can even take Ray out and put Ghost. I mean, Ghost got Supreme Clientele. He got Bulletproof Wallace. He got Iron Man. Yeah. He got three bonafide joints. Yes. You know what I mean? Like, Ghost killed it. Here's one that I think is going to be up for debate. If we do that with, if we do that with Wu Tang, Wu Camp. No, actually, oh, okay. I wasn't even going to do that. Oh, okay, okay. I thought we would do that. Theirs doesn't stretch that. Yeah, the, oh, you initial, know. They all had like right. one joint each, but go ahead. Should we and slash could we do the same for the locks? Because Styles P put out a lot of projects. Styles P put out a lot of joints. He's put out a lot of projects. Um, what's that he did too? Um, Chic. Chic. She put she out a lot. a lot of classic stuff. No, but he, bought, he had a lot of solid pro- projects though. His gorilla, his his whole gorilla shit, like she put out the the, the yeah yeah. She got a couple joints. He got a couple joints. J- Jada had the least out of them. He does individually. Like it's Jada got the features though. That's crazy. But, but features aren't. We're not adding features to it's secondary to right? projects, right? No, I mean projects. I think projects. Is a, is the criteria the number one criteria? In the catalog, and then you right. go to to the features. I think. Right. So Kiss comes along in that because where the others had projects, Kiss had features. Because Kiss did way more feature work than, in, than any of them. And maybe Kiss is all over the place. Styles did a lot of feature work. Kiss, he can't compare to Kiss feature work. He can't. Kiss is all over the place. But, and Kiss can't compare to Styles projects. <sighs> In terms of amount is, of projects. Is Fat Joe in the discussion? They're going right. Catalog wise. You better believe he is. <laughs> yes, sir. You absolutely. Fat Joe. I believe Fat Joe is in the conversation. Yes. Yeah. Crazy, son. Yo, tell us, tell us catalog wise, who 
what rappers, groups, or individual have the best catalogs yeah. in hip hop? I want to know what y'all think. Um, I had this discussion with somebody on my on my Facebook timeline, and I'm curious to what y'all think about who has the best catalog because, you know, I I said Rick Ross and they were like, "Are you what? Rick Ross?" Yes. Who do y'all think had the best catalog? So it's not so much the best catalog. Well, it's yeah. Just, who? We just want who's to, in the discussion? Yeah, who's in the discussion? Who's in the discussion? There was individuals who have bodies of work that too short. E40? E40? E40 can be talked about. E40 can have it. E40 is in that discussion. He's in the the, the discussion. Yeah, he's in the discussion. You know I love You know I have an affinity for E40. That's what I'm saying. E40's E40's in the discussion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's in the discussion for sure. I'm trying to think of who else on the West Coast, too. Got to be others out there with the catalog situation. But, yeah, I mean, you know, people are going to come on here and they're going to say, Oh, Tech 9. Yes, okay. You can argue that, you know what I'm saying? He has his fan base. Eminem has his fan base and yeah. whatnot. Like these, these when, dudes put out a lot of projects. And I think it's important to note that what you'll notice a lot of in these conversations, especially or let's rap about it, is we can a lot of times be regional. Yeah. Right? Based on nostalgia. It's our experiences, man. But we're also not saying that we are that our what we're saying is the end all be all. We're no. actually saying add to it for your region. Yeah, tell me about it. Yeah. For, for the stuff that you love. Yeah. That you listen to. If you're from whatnot. Memphis, you're gonna say certain people. You're gonna say certain people. You may actually talk about um three six mafia. Right. I think we um uh, I think we're good yeah. today from topics wise. We can we can save you whatever topic you have, we'll save that for the next time because we will be buying sneakers. I got something in the scope, but I'm just kind of hold off a little bit, and uh, we'll bring the other topics. I think we uh, we killed this one, we crushed yeah. this. This is a good one. Yeah, I'm curious of what people are gonna say about this. You know, saying who had the best catalogs, yo? Did you watch that battle? Who who do you think won that battle? Though? Rick Ross and um, Two Chains. You know, Two Chains in the is in the cat in the conversation because we got to bring him up. Two Chains had a lot of yeah, songs joints. that I. <laughs> Forgot about. I thought Two Chains was gonna get <coughs> walked. Pardon. Right. Right. Everybody did. I went into this. I didn't even plan to watch it because I was like, I'm just. I don't want to see a man die. On it's it. gonna be embarrassing. It's gonna be embarrassing. It turned into be one more entertaining than I expected, and two, I. When you factor in all of the features that Two Chains was a part of, he was a part of some really big hits. Mm-hmm. Rick Ross catalog, man. Crazy. But the, the thing about the battles is that you can have a crazy extensive catalog, but a strategy of picking 20 if joints. If you don't play the right 20. You know what I mean? So, person, yeah. not to go into that too much, man. But yeah, it was a good session, man. Yeah, good man. session, yo. You know what I'm saying? Dope sneakers. And uh, maybe I'll contribute something next time. But you know, I'll contribute to the booze every time. So it's all good, right? What's that? <laughs> Shout out to KP. Shout, Shout out, out to, to Kent. Appleton. Kurt, yeah. You know, Appleton, holla at my guy over here. Yeah, I'll have it, man. I'm a rum lover, man. I'm, I'm a rum lover. I'm a, it's Whiskey and Kicks. Don't be intimidated or thrown off by Whiskey and Kicks. That's the catchiest name. I love whiskey, but I love rum. Talk to me, man. It's a beautiful bottle, too. It's a good bottle. Look at that. Yeah. Look at the contour. It's like a woman over here on my table, son. Holla at me. Yeah. Yo, get at me, man. Whiskeyandkicks.com. Um, the Whiskey and Kicks show on Instagram and all that. And um, my man Joe, man. Yeah, man. Unboxing, man. We out of here. Boom. Done.